I have been doing science and well it's not really scientific to be precise but it is something that is quite nice nice now nice I can't even speak because I'm so excited so I am going to show you if we fly very high up here oh yeah we should have probably looked at you know where we were flying I looked away anyway that is a perfect demonstration on how this little data pack works Jamie tells has died here and that is a very sad but bam I have just gotten back my stuff and that is quite cool so I decided well actually I found a data pack that like um makes graves and it's actually quite cool it's very interesting and I decided to ask my friends if they wanted to have it and they said yes so we now have a new data pack that lets us die whenever and not lose our stuff because honestly I'm not gonna call out names here but some of us has lost a lot of stuff and we're sort of sick of it so I don't know I'm very happy with it and there's also another cool little data pack that I added I did not confront my friends about it so they are not aware of it um, but if we oh, okay recipes you're spoiling but if we add it here we can make mini blocks which is just so adorable like before someone's calling me this is way more important because look at this we have mini blocks and before this we could just get uh, mini blocks through um one uh killing mobs which is not a hundred percent or we could get well we get the head of the mob then but we can also get it through wandering traders but i found this cool one which i think is new i think it was updated right at 1.21 which is just so cool like i am so excited <laughs> um so this means that we can get heads so much easier and we love a bit of decorating in this uh, area so i i'm gonna just steal my heads over here because I feel like someone wants to steal my heads. I don't like it. Leave me alone. I'm gonna put on my armor because I forgot about that. Um, so, this is what I've been doing. And if you watched the last episode, then you might have heard that I was supposed to do that because I have been waiting for the data packs to be updated. And I couldn't wait, so I updated them. And it's actually the same day. And I mean, I am just so excited. I cannot wait to decorate with all of these blocks and like yeah i also got a squid head because i needed a um new book and quill which didn't actually work i thought that it would be a bit more updated but it wasn't with the armor stance but it still works so i am so happy with that anyway um i just want to show you that uh, <laughs> and uh, honestly i don't know i started recording just wanting to show wanting to show that off but i have zero clue what to actually do so um yay <laughs> anyway let's see here i have been talking about me wait i don't i'm not sure that it was recorded but i have been talking about building a storage area a storage a bin area like a, a transport area over here where there's going to be boats and docks and like a huge building with tons of bins in it and i am so excited to do it because it feels like a really cool idea i got to do it over here so this is going to be turned into a dock area which i'm just so excited about and i think i'm gonna do it straight away because you know i i feel like it's a good idea and i want to do it and i'm honestly I've been trying to work on the city hall, not today, but when I last did it, it wasn't fun and honestly, I don't want to do it right now, so instead we're going to do this and I don't know, um, build however, I don't really have a plan for it to be honest, I just 
have ideas on what to put in, but to the actual shape of the building, how big it's going to be, no clue. And I feel like it's going to have to be big because one is gonna have to tell a story and two is gonna have to store all of the stuff. So, um, I think I'm gonna outline this area first. Um, just, I don't know, what am I supposed to use for blocks? Not heads, because they are a pain to get rid of. They are so slow, but, um, I don't know, I, I, I haven't really thought too far yet, but let's just line out everything and see how big I want it. Because honestly, I want this really big. Like, I want huge, huge, like, boats all over the area. And, like, I want maybe even one in the sky, like, coming over to import or export. Like, actually, it's going to import them give us stuff so maybe they could have something else that this area doesn't have like maybe i was about to say sand but they have a lot maybe they came from a, like a desert but i don't even know oh ooh, maybe i'm saying another maybe but maybe we can go exploring in that direction and see what sort of like biome is over there so that we could like try to copy and like make a story like they came over from there but then we have to make an area over there like, I don't know, <laughs> that would be really cool though, like, really tell a story, like, I don't know, I don't know how long this server is going to be, like, on for, because even though I am the one who has it, like, this has been going on for years and we still have so many ideas for it and it's just not stopping, so, I don't know, maybe in, like, 10 years we could make, like, a little town area over there that, like, imports stuff and, like, or exports to here I don't know but that would be really really cool I just I have so many ideas and like they keep on flooding <sighs> let's just let's just not focus about the future and think what what bup, bup, about what we're doing right now because right now we want to fix all of this and um, well it's going to take a bit Okay, so the outline of the dock is finished and honestly, it's looking quite good. Obviously, I will extend it as we go on, but seeing as I'm only working on the storage system at this moment, I, well, storage system, storage area, I don't know. I just want to have, be able to focus on this area now. I think I'm gonna put it over here because this feels like the most understandable area but why I haven't outlined it yet is because I want to first make the, make the actual dock which I don't know if I'm going to use uh, I don't think I'm gonna use uh, wood but that is the material that I have at the moment but I don't know um, I feel like making the dock is the priority at least so actually the priority is actually getting materials because we don't have any materials for the actual you know dock because we want to use these sort of materials because well I want to keep the consist consistency in this but I don't know do we have any um we have some tough which is not used some stones we have but they aren't used because we have only normal like stone not cobblestone um yeah i really think we need to get more materials so <sighs> great awesome 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 um and there was no 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 stone over here that's what i was supposed to say but my mind oh two stone nice one stone oh my gosh we can make a whole dock out of this um yeah not really a lot so we are gonna have to go and gather some materials woohoo um uh, let's see oh my gosh we can even make uh, little heads out of these i mean obviously but that's cool, that's nice. Um, I'm not gonna do that because we barely have any and I need to savor the materials that I have. So, let's just... <laughs> I'm trying to look for torches, but I'm not finding any. Uh, oh, there we have two of them. 
There's a coal block, but do we just have coal? I would rather not have to... I think we have to make some... Okay, well, let's just break all of this down. Alright, now we have some coal. And with this, we can make some sticks. And with that, we can make some torches, which is exactly what we need. There we go. Now we're ready to go on a little adventure of... Well, it's not really an adventure, it's just gather materials. Uh, whatever, let's just go. Let's just deal with this. Oh, the fucking... What's it called? Uh, the beacon isn't even here. But actually, we could just steal. Ooh, I could just pretend that I'm helping and be like, hey, just see, I'm helping with taking down the mountain. I'm totally not stealing any materials from it, you know? Uh, how do I get up? <laughs> I have flown so much that I don't know how to play anymore. There, okay, there we go. Nice. Let's just let's just steal some materials from here. Okay, so I managed to gather a ton of stone, which is just great. And also, I forgot that you could insta mine, so I noticed that haste one was on and i turn it on to haste two hopefully becca doesn't mind that i removed the the walking speed but like it's just to use like an emerald or something anyway so my materials are about well my pickaxe is about to break so i'm just gonna go and fix that and then we can finally start on what is it <laughs> the building, the no, not the building, the the the, the uh, road, the road, the dock. So let me just get right in here. There we are. Forgot where the entrance was, and I'll just get my stuff here then. All right. So I have killed most of the spiders now, and. I have gotten my pickaxe completed, and that is good, very good, and I accidentally also, like, fixed my elytra, which I didn't, I didn't even think of, but I, it's been dying slowly, so it's really good that I actually got it fixed, and uh, I got two cave spider heads, so that's just great. Um, so, now, we are going to scare Zelda. Hello! Hello there. Now we're going to start working on this and I don't know how big this is going to be inwards but this area is going to be huge. Like this is gonna be from maybe over here even because I'm gonna show you up from here. Um, I was thinking this whole area for the storage house so we need a lot of like area to just work in and I don't know what else I think there were also coral um, coral stone bricks mossy stone bricks uh, cracked stone bricks stone iron coal coral coral and the site oh right and the site um, that is one thing that I forgot about. Oh, no. Do we have, uh, I didn't want to steal from here because we're still working on this, but like, I, I just, I, I'm gonna steal a tiny bit. Um, ah, there we are. There we go. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell that I stole from my my chest. <laughs> um, okay, so and the sites. Okay, we should probably use this one. And the site, stone, stone bricks, cracked stone bricks, mossy stone bricks, and coral. I'm just trying to remember all of it. And also, I forgot to gra grab the stone cutter. Obviously, 
Why would I remember to do that? There we go. Okay, so now we have everything, I think. Um, so we can get this cracking on, I guess. Um, I mean, we don't have the coral, but like... Oh, this is fine. Where's the coral? This is my coral. I'm gonna steal my own coral box. Oh, hey! It's my chocolate box as well! I thought I had one missing. Well, that's just great. Ow! I just slam myself into the wall or into the ground. Okay. Coral! And the site stone, stone bricks, moss stone bricks. Alright, oh, we need moss. Oh! <laughs> well. Now we can get this working. Uh, I mean, we still need to get some more balls because uh, we need it. But like, this is fine. I think we're even gonna need more stone because this is not gonna fill the whole thing. Let let's just get started. I don't want to think about the whole thing. I just want to get started. Um, should probably wait for the sun to set. The bed. Let's get started. Okay, so we have the outline of the, the what's called, <laughs> the story system finished. And honestly, it's looking quite good. And obviously, this is not all it. This is actually another store. This is another store, which these are so tiny in comparison to this. Like, this is gonna have like two stories full of storage. And like, then we have a tiny little store. And an even tinier little store. Like, this is just so cute and there are monsters underneath us. Well, I'll take care of that later on. Um, so, obviously I have done the, 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 the docks, but I haven't detailed it yet because I forgot about it before I put this in. Which is actually quite good because otherwise I would have most likely had to like decorate even more seeing as like... Oh, well, remove the decoration because I didn't know where the houses, w well, the buildings would be. So, we don't actually have too much to decorate because this is gonna be, like, all of these three buildings are gonna have different flooring. So, quite happy. And I also came up with another idea. So, this is obviously not going to be the end of this dock. It's going to continue, like, I don't even know how long this is going to be, but it's going to be quite long. Like... Maybe even all the way out here? I don't know. Well, actually, that's a bit too big, but like, I don't know, I wanted it to be really, really big. And I came up with an idea where it would be like a boat fixing area. So we have like uh, ships staying inside because they're being fixed and built. And I think that would be really cool to have like a huge building like right around here. Um, so I'm very excited for that. But course I can't do that at the moment because we have this building to do and this is a big building as well <laughs> and I'm planning on making that building even bigger than this because I mean the ships that I'm thinking of building are going to be huge and like for that to be huge we need a huge building and like uh, that's going to be a lot but I am so excited <laughs> I even wanted to put a little firework in the air. Anyway, so... I haven't actually thought about what to make the actual building made out of. Um, obviously not wood, because we want another material. But maybe just that sort of material as well. Like, just the same sort. But I want to just check out like some inspiration to make sure that... It actually looks like a storage building because I don't want it to look just like any old building. Now, if you're noticing, I have another layer of wood here, which is just to point out where the middle is, which is right here. This is going to be a double, like, not really have a middle, it's going to be here. But maybe we can make... I didn't even start counting. Oh no. Uh, there we go. Maybe we could have like a huge door here so we can actually get in like it makes sense that huge containers are in here because like 
I don't want it to be a tiny building and then these huge containers inside. Which isn't really going to have like much storage in them. Maybe like some storage, but like the containers are mostly for detail and Oh wait. Um Did you guys see that? Um Well something else flew by. I don't know what it is, but whatever. So Maybe we could have the actual storage upstairs where we can have like a little balcony where we can easily fly into the building so we can just swoop in and find all of our materials. I think that would be the best option because the downstairs I want just decoration and storytelling. I am not really prioritizing things correctly and each time that I keep on like finishing a segment or being close to finishing it, the sun is setting each time in this video. I... I don't know. Um, either way, so... Let's see here. Uh, I'm gonna go and look for inspiration for the storage area because, as I said, I want it to look as good as possible and not mess it up. So, I'm gonna do that, start building, and... I'll see you when I feel like recording again. <laughs> Okay, so this was actually a lot of fun, like, the starting point of this building was so boring, but just getting it and seeing it progress was so much fun that I actually, like, at the start I didn't really want to do anything, I started, like, doing just the walls or the, the ceiling or anything like that, just getting something at least done and then logging off, but as it progressed I got more into it and it just very much helped me because I could do like the whole roof in one sitting and even some more details and it was just so much fun to like actually continue and as you might see here soon I actually added a ton of chimneys which I think are going to look great I haven't actually finished them in the finishing product but I will do later on but as seen here, they are like there's so many. They are clustered together, and it's just so good. It like makes everything so much more interesting. And I don't know. I really, really like this how it turned out. And like, I, I really like this. This is one of my like favorite builds. I just keep on saying it, but like it is. Okay, so the body of the building is complete, which. I really like it. It's looking quite good. Obviously inside it is very empty, but I have many plans for it. So, I don't know. I really, really like the inside. Well, the inside, the outside. And I decided to put a ton of chimneys here because I didn't really just want to have a roof because it would feel so weird. So I decided to put different like shapes of chimneys and different side like... Uh, heights and all that and I really really like it it does look a tiny bit too clumped up but I think with the like I'm gonna shape it up a little bit it's not gonna be just squares so with that and the smoke it's going to be way better so I don't know now we need to put in some windows um, what else some containers maybe outside some small containers then uh detail i guess just a lot of details i really really like this so far but as I said we have to continue and i just want to show you what's what's it what it looks like right now and you know i'm really really happy and also becca, whoop, da -ba -doo. becca has been doing a ton of work over here which is just so like there is a lot of work being done here i I'm a bit jealous. <laughs> like, they are so cute. Look at it. Oh, Becca's over there. Uh, Becca! Oh. There, Becca, there's no way to get up there. Um, except for maybe the fake, the fake letter. Um, it's looking great, though. So, yeah, the vibe. <laughs> um, I don't know. I really like this. So, up. Oh. <laughs> Hi. 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 Uh, so, as said, decoration 
uh, details to chimneys, windows, and other things. A lot of those sort of things. And more. Um, final story on this one. The bits... Uh, the final story... Oh, final story. Like uh, the stories of a house. The out bits will be balconies. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I was like... That's, that sounded so much like redstone. I was like, there's no redstone over here. I even looked around. But no, it was just Milo getting on one of the moving boxes. Which we have actually moved. Um, a few days ago we moved to the new apartment. And it's looking very nice. So if it's a bit echoey, then I'm sorry. But that's the way it's going to be for a bit now. So... Anyway, let's continue with the house and uh, well, yeah. Who are you talking to? Are you talking to me? I think Milo's just talking to the wall. Hello. Anyway, let's continue and uh, see where we end up. And this is where it gets so much fun. Like. I enjoyed this part so much. Usually when I talk about building and stuff like that, I really like just talk about the decorating and like making a building feel alive. But a scene in this, it actually really turned out really well and actually made it look and feel so alive. Way more than I usually do because usually I just use windows and leaves to be able to decorate and make it feel alive but this time i decided to go for machinery or like this canister with which is going to have like water in it well it doesn't really have water in it but it, it's supposed to have water in it so i just it makes it feel so alive to add these small details to it because it feels way better than just a window i said like i usually do and it just turns out so much better and just way more alive. And also, I decided to destroy the roof because I decided that I wanted this to be abandoned. And I really like the way that I went with this because it looks so good with all of the other things. Like, it just feels right. And I enjoyed this so much, like just destroying it. I decided to also add some slabs to make it look more... Um, have more variety to it and it looked so good I absolutely loved it and after that I decided to go with some windows but I didn't want the windows to like look good so I decided to make them broken and it looks so good because we can still fly through them and it's, it's just perfect and of course the chimneys but they aren't as important right now because this is actually the end of this, so hope you enjoyed me building and talking about it. It just, it was so much fun, and I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, so I finally sort of finished the area. I mean, it's not fully finished, but we have most of it finished, and I mean, I could do more, but also we don't really have time. Uh, for this for the rest of this in this episode so i'm gonna have to do it either off camera or in the next episode but i'm gonna show you what i've done so if you have noticed then i decided to break down some of the roofs but that is actually uh it actually <laughs> it actually has a good reason for it because i wanted it to look like it's like sort of abandoned like not fully ab well it sort of looks like it's fully abandoned, but like very torn down and old. And we have some windows here that have broken and like, I don't know. I really, really like this though, because it just looks so good. I decided to have some, like, at first I was going to use like the pipes and all that as copper, like on oxidized. But at the end, I decided to go for oxidized because one, it looks better. And two, it tells a story because it sort of shows like, hey... This place has been abandoned for a while and has oxidized, so I really, really like that. And as you can see here, I actually did some stuff off camera, like this tra train. It's not really a train track, but like a track, I guess, um, that leads to the containers, which 
have different colors to them because well I didn't really have a lot of green and plus it doesn't really look good if all of them are green and if you notice there's some moss on here which isn't a mistake it's actually due to me wanting <coughs> wanting it to look like there's actual moss growing on the containers like they have been left here for so long and also look at this we can actually enter this container which i really like as a detail it's just very nice and what else um upstairs oh right we have some water pipes going through but upstairs we have the actual storage system which it's gonna there's gonna be more storage but but i just ran out of wood and chests so i couldn't really continue but that is it for this episode next episode i really want to just either have this finished by then or uh start with it and then move on to the dock because i do have some ideas for the dock well i mean sort of like i just want to do the dock and like have an actual like wall here some like bridges sort of not really bridges what are they called the area that the boats dock to stop by i don't know um and also decorate this which also might be done be done by next episode or like at least like started and i want to if we have time sort of start with one of these houses and i think well buildings is not really a house it's just a building and i think it's going to be this one because it's connected to here so i don't know i feel like those are good plans for the next episode and i don't know i am um, Honestly, I'm very happy with what we've done in this episode. I started editing this episode like today. Um, and I noticed like, I was like, huh, I haven't really done a lot. But I built a whole dock, well, sort of a whole dock. As well as the whole building, which is like, I did way more than I thought that I did. Which usually is the case when I record and don't feel like I've done a lot. Because... I just don't really notice it, but when I rec like look back at it, I'm like, oh my gosh, it, I did way more. And yeah, so as said, this is going to be the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!